Mm. Yeah, of course I'll expound. Um, so you're in numbers. All right. I'm going to pinpoint it to the exact scriptures you were reading. So you know you're getting your revelation from the Lord Jesus himself. Thank you for your faith. Your faith is going to increase other people's faith, which will ultimately lead them to listen and to really take my words seriously because um, by the video, you can tell what John wrote wasn't in an English language. So you have my exact words there and you understand them. So the fact that you are able to perceive me, understand me, hear me, that puts you in a whole different category that I want you to see yourself in. I want you to really feel like you're the only person that I rescued. I want you to really feel my love. I want you to really look back at it. Yeah, he was there. So there was a whole um, different type of thought process that the church had versus what God had. My love for my people. Um, in my city, I felt for a little bit that people were angry with me for some reason. I was, what do you guys, obviously you're upset. So just say why you're upset and then we can address this. They were upset because I was trying to teach Mary, this is how we run things. The city was given to us, like your territory was given to you. So I may be in Nehemiah, you might be in numbers. That doesn't mean that we're separate. What it means is I'm bringing your walk up to my walk. And I want people to really um, understand what I'm actually doing. I am open the door to a prayer Mary had once. She wanted to expose the devil. So of course, now it's on video. Nobody can say there is not a false Holy Spirit. But then you take it to uh, meet the Robinsons and I told her it's gonna be like meet the Robinsons. And my wife will be like, I teach frogs how to make music. <clears throat> The reason for this is, I said in scripture, what this woman has done will never be forgotten. So if she can see irrational fear, <clears throat> Mary, 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 I'm here to give you the keys to heaven, not condemn you. And I was at work this morning because manly men, they may celebrate, but they go to work for their woman. To me, it's not the most pleasant experience, but <laughs> it's testimonial field. I'm gonna be myself. So I was hopping around in a enemy's camp and John was already here. And he asked me the question. Well, I was wondering about that. Is that really my wife? So I laid hands on her. And when I say this, I have to, when I'm speaking English, you guys have terms where laid hands means something abusive and negative. Whereas put my hand on her shoulder, prayed for her. I casted out demons pretty much all Saturday. Um, 
I have to do this. Because I don't like anybody ever trying to steal my glory. Voodoo one, the remaining MIGs are bugging out. <clears throat> I had the glasses and everything while I was doing it. I was tracking down that false Holy Spirit for seven years. So <clears throat> I want you to watch uh, Top Gun, both movies, because we're doing both movies and you'll see yourself in it. You'll see what I told John. All right, you were following the false Messiah. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So we got a lot of um, work done, but we were like, uh, well, there was a cat here. So I can't have an F-14 Tomcat show up. I probably could, but it would be not good for uh, the American military or that fighter pilot. So instead, you know, and we're talking about enemy at the gates, uh, spiritual warfare in its purest form. Um, I was at work today, I was figuring out, okay, how am I going to minister here? And the person I was assigned to this time, because the usual person I work with, he didn't show up for my own reasons. He just launches out that he's a Christian and he believes in Jesus and God and he's trying to figure out what's going on. So he's basically confessing. Prayed for him at work. So that's how that can happen. If the person lets himself be known then that's between you and that person. Because I had said, I'm putting you in a workplace where you're going to be led to who you're supposed to help. So I found out who I was supposed to help. And then casting out demons, what people don't understand, you go to deliverance sermons and uh, they talk all this. I cast out in Jesus' name. Right, but they forget that part where I'm going to say, depart from me you workers of iniquity. So explaining that, there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band, the band, the band called the Italian band. Now I've seen my, um, death certificate the names are in Italian a devout man and one that feared God with all his house which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always and he did so that's confirmation right so what the church doesn't teach you is your walk with me Now, I'm not as pretty as the guy that showed up as an angel of light, but I put it right there in front of you. So you can't unsee that. Mary's never going to be able to unsee that. So I'm automatically taking her into the air where she has to understand. Yeah, but you're in my hand, babe. Now, there are moments that Mary has with me that she will never forget. Scripture is fulfilled. I had my wedding with my bride, my city, and then of course my real bride, Mary. And she's been told several different things but not understanding the spirit of the Antichrist. Whereas I have broken it down for her over nine years. You need to understand one thing, babe. To 
to love your wife is to love yourself, is what scripture says. So her irrational fear that I've been feeling got pretty annoying. All you had to do was come home. I did not give you a spirit of timidity, is what scripture says. You were not given a spirit of fear. If you have fear, you are doing something wrong. So putting everything right in front of her, <clears throat> and one thing demons know, we will not approach him if he's drinking a four loco. Seriously, demons understand that. They're like, he, he goes too far. He's... So trying to um, ensure that you understand the greatest gift you could ever get is the fear of the Lord. And you see that I'm not here to condemn you or hurt you. It's just been so many years that I'm not gonna allow you to miss out on that one thing that fulfills your life, your other half, your marriage. And I don't care what the American church says. I really don't. To me, I only have one church and the American church came against it. So I'm still standing. And yeah, I look like I walked through a wine press because I did. But that's part of going to war. So I want you to see yourself as little fighter pilots that are accepting your orders every single day. And you're going, Shh. but that's what makes you so amazing. You are in the third heaven communicating with God himself. And unfortunately, we have to accept the reality that a lot of my people, like he was telling me today, he's been to prison. Meth was the only thing that made his mind shut down. Words have come out of his mouth that he thought were straight demonic, but he's sitting there pouring it out. Like he hasn't been able to have a friend to talk to in so long. So that right away tells me I'm where I'm supposed to be. If I don't speak, you're not gonna know. So my entire city, because Mary had demons, seemed like they were trying to run her out so she had to feel alone. And I understand that. That's what happens when you approach divorce. There's nothing I could do about that. <clears throat> Which in time past was to thee unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me. Whom I have sent again, thou therefore receive him that is mine. For uh, the false Holy Spirit, the spirit of the Antichrist, he's not going to admit that Jesus came in the flesh. He never will. So I have to cast out his demons before I can help him. This is an everyday thing. So to me, I'm still working when I'm at work. I'm still casting out demons. I'm still seeing everything in the spirit realm. So are you. This doesn't make you crazy. You just haven't had anybody that understands. I put it right there in video for you. So that one... God himself gets the glory, the Lord Jesus. I am he. So for someone to recognize me as Jesus is not a normal 
uh, fascination that I would sit there and be enthralled. I expect it. Because then you're seeing me. Then that tells me you have the true Holy Spirit. I don't care about age and I don't care what you think you know. Accept the truth and the truth will set you free. I didn't do all this for no reason. I didn't do this to hurt anyone. It was a war. You got the call. You are fighting the war. But I confirmed it. I got similarly. I knew when I casted out the demons, I was going to have to see them again. And in his eyes, this dude was angry for a second. By the end of the day, it was a pleasure to work with you, Michael. Now, my name is Jesus. But it's probably best that not a lot of those people know that. With the voice of the archangel, I fulfill scripture perfectly. Be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Shall he speak and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. This is my land, and this is my country. I have 300 million people at a time speaking my words, if you watch it in the news. The Lord of hosts. It wasn't hard for me to track down an example <clears throat> because it was pertinent to Mary because Mary was there. And most importantly, I was there. It's supposed to make you feel loved, babe. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. <laughs> I'm you, you're me. I am the word of God. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. I can perceive your thoughts. This is a good thing. It means I'm that much faster to take care of you, protect you, see what's coming and prevent it. It doesn't look like what you thought it would look like. To me, it looks like 2000 years ago. That's what I did, cast it out demons, Restored people. I have huge plans for my church. I can't have my church when it is constantly attacked by the church. I don't want you to hate yourself. And I don't want you to sit there in shame. Because the scripture says I will remove your guilt. I want you to say I have sinned against God. Now I know. And I'm not going to do it again. Because Mary has all of the confirmation and memories. And then she sees me. That is her name. Nothing's going to change that. And then she had to learn, never leave your wingman. Now I learned the same lesson with Peter. <clears throat> I thought for a long time, Peter was proficient enough 
and I break off and go find Mary. I promise myself I'm not going to throw away marriage. Because there's no point. You're putting yourself into a condemnation, breaking the Ten Commandments situation. You might have to go without, yeah, but you're not bringing judgment on yourself. You're letting me work it out for you. And I think my kingdom marriages scared a lot of people because they were actually in love. And the person that was so scared of being hurt wasn't doing the work to heal. So I'll use this as an example. Mary is scared to come here. And this is her house. I walk around feeling it at work. Why am I afraid to go to my own house? This makes no sense. But when you are one flesh, then I'm giving you the revelation to understand how your spouse feels. I watched Sarah attack Peter multiple times. Not you, little one. I'm talking about Sarai. <clears throat> Your name. We'll get to that. You need some confirmation first in your life. And then I will tell you. All right. But suffice it to say. You are alive. Joint heirs with me. Okay. All right. <clears throat> That's my course I'll expound for you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Four more. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And there's nothing that I wouldn't do. What a king, right? <laughs> Rejoice. You have no reason to fear. Especially me. Look in the eyes. You see love? A lot of love? Take my heart. <gasps> Talk to you guys tomorrow. I gotta go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Lord, why do you have to work? No, it, it's a good thing because those pieces of paper allow me to... Um, do even more for my wife. It's, it's a good thing. I love you.